and my husband Brett and we are doing the first of a series of podcasts and what are they called? Vodcasts. Vodcast. Vodcasts. I don't know why I can't remember that. But Video pod podcast. Well, I know, but then I just want to call it a vlog or vod or <laughs> something. I've already for vodcast. Vodcast. Oh, friggin' A, dude. Okay. So, podcast and vodcast uh, so that you can um, either watch us or you can listen to us on your favorite listening device. Handheld listening device. Handheld device. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> One of those things. So, anyway, um, so this is the new part of the Imperfect Life website, and um, I'm so glad that you're watching or listening. And uh, the, like I said, this is the first of hopefully many casts. Casts. And uh, yes, thank you. And um, and today we wanted to start with um, talking about a blog that I wrote about a month ago. Maybe not even yeah, about a month ago. About a month ago. Um, called gastric bypass and divorce. <clears throat> Got a lot of attention um, from uh, readers and. Um, Con uh, some people were very concerned, others were um, just, I guess, empathetic, sympathetic, could relate, etc., etc. So let's put everyone's heart and minds to rest right now. Yep. We are not getting divorced. We're not getting divorced. That's how we're able to sit here so cordially. Um, yes, yeah, so anyway, so we're not getting divorced. And, uh, and, and so I keep... I can't talk. Apparently you can't. I can't. Um, so we wanted to talk about that. So just a little background. I posted this blog about a month ago talking about uh, basically how people end up divorced after gastric bypass. And that's not to say that if you have gastric bypass and you're married, you're suddenly going to be divorced and everything's going to be crazy. Um, it's just for whatever reason, it's a common thread in the weight loss surgery community. And um, and I had some opinions on it, and I shared them in addition to my own experience with my husband and how uh, my surgery, and, and really the surgery has nothing to do with it, it's the weight loss that happens because of the surgery. And the lifestyle change that comes along with it. The lifestyle change. Um, uh, that... Well, now I forgot what I was going to say. My, so my vlog about that and what was I saying? I wasn't actually listening to you. <laughs> I hate you sometimes. <laughs> um, so I wrote a blog about that stuff and how it's affected my marriage and, and then Brett got really mad at me and then now everything's better. The end. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So, so we're gonna try to fill in some blanks for you, and then explain to you sort of what we're doing to move forward, and um, and we hope that you'll find this extremely fascinating. So, um, so basically, I wrote this blog, and I talked about how. Can I pause for one second? Yes. Did you write a blog? I think I wrote a blog. There's something involved. It included words, typing and words, words and, and yeah, I think someone read it. So what we've gotten so far is that Andrea wrote a blog. I did. I wrote, I wrote a blog. <laughs> I wrote a blog about... Shut up! Um, so I wrote this blog. Oh my God. I'm not talking anymore. <laughs> Andrew wrote this blog, and it was about gastric bypass and divorce, and it was something that she had wanted to write for a very long time. <laughs> and she finally decided that it was time to write it. I did. I, t I decided it was time to write it. And, and then I got very mad at her. <laughs> and then he got very mad at me. Um, because uh, he took offense. Not really offense, but he thought that, the, that what I was saying in the blog 
uh, was that I was giving him an ultimatum in that uh, whether if, if he didn't change his lifestyle that I was going to leave him, which was completely not the point that I was trying to make. Um, but it ended up uh, being a good thing because um, it opened up some lines of communication that uh, hadn't been opened in a while. In a while. Because even before, I say in a while, because even before my surgery, we talked about how my life was going to change and how it was going to affect our, our relationship. And um, in fact, before, uh, before I had my surgery, I even said to him, um, my life is going to change. I'm going to finally be able to do the things that I've wanted to do for as long as I can remember but haven't been able to do because of my size and uh, weight restrictions and things like that and um, and once I lose this weight I will do them and I really hope that you're able to do them with me but if you aren't it's not going to stop me from doing them and um, that when I say it like that it sounds kind of nasty I, I feel like I probably said it I, I probably didn't say it any nicer than that <laughs> Um, but so I knew I, I expected to have some of the issues that we're having. Um, I, I hoped that we wouldn't, but I was prepared. We were somewhat prepared. Um, and so it's been 18 months since I had my surgery and I've lost 142 pounds so far. And so, yes, my life has changed drastically. And if you follow me on Facebook or um, the Imperfect Life website, you know that I'm doing all kinds of crazy things like running Spartan races and going rock climbing and whitewater rafting and... Hosting all. a Facebook group. Yeah, yeah, hosting a Facebook group. Um, and, and just, you know, my life has completely changed. I CrossFit at least three times a week and I run and I do all these things that I was never able to do and so basically all of that has come true and in, in that my life changed and Brett is still um, living the lifestyle that we were living before maybe not to the extreme that we were living it before because when there was two of us it was it was really bad <laughs> um, so so, so it's definitely taken a toll on on our marriage and and it turns out that's actually a pretty common thing that we're discovering um, gastric bypass is life-changing mm -hmm. and when as a couple you bonded um, you you came together as a, as as certain people and then the person that has gastric bypass becomes somebody else so I, I've read from some other people that have posted um because i i wrote the account i wrote a blog did you write a blog i wrote a blog brett wrote a blog i wrote a blog this guy did <laughs> and it was kind of a counterpoint not not necessarily the counterpoint it was um from the point of view uh i i, I call us the significant other of a weight loss surgery parent uh, patient or parent or parent <laughs> nobody likes you <laughs> significant other of a weight loss surgery patient and it's difficult on the side of it um in I, i've some people told me that when their significant other had it they felt like they were losing their wife they felt like they were losing the person that they fell in love with and it's really hard to deal with um especially if you don't actually deal with it right which is basically what was happening in our marriage yeah. In that I was going off and doing all these things and you were literally being left behind and we weren't dealing with that it was just sort of what had become our norm and um, and so that's what was the catalyst for me writing the blog and uh, you may have heard of <laughs> and and in and, and just a way to explain that you know, I think a lot of people think that the reason that people with who have gastric bypass um, end up in divorce is that the person gets skinny and hot and leaves the other person, and then and one of the all reasons, that one of the reasons those of us 
uh, the, uh, significant others might feel that way is because we are told that a lot before yep. the surgery happens. People are like, oh, you better watch out. You better keep a leash on her. You better, hey, you know, you better. You yeah, know. We, we heard that a lot um, before my surgery. Uh, people would. And it starts to get would, really offensive after about the 15th or 20th person that told you that because then you start to feel like, oh, do, do you guys all think that she's only with me because she's fat? Right. Like, you think that as soon as she has a surgery, she'll be able to do better than this fat dude? So it really starts to take its toll, and that's kind of where it starts. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the first thing you need to do is don't listen to those people. Understand that they're saying it as a compliment. Right, they meant it as a nice thing to say about me, but um, it was kind of insulting to me too, though, you know, because it was like, oh, you guys can only do this. You're the best you can do, and so... Well, it's kind of like... Uh, when I posted a recent picture of some weight loss that I had had, my grandma said to me, you're better looking now. <laughs> grandma. <laughs> so that's kind of what people were saying to it you. It wasn't my grandma. No. No. no but no. she might say that too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of what people were saying to you, is that, oh, now you'll be hot. Right. You're now, not now you can, now you'll, when, when you lose your weight, you'll be hot and you can do so much better. You can or, get a real man. Right. Right, yeah. For yeah. a real woman. Or whatever. Whatever or your preference whatever is. Whatever you like. We don't judge. No. Nope. We're cool. Um, so, so... The first thing you need to do is you need to talk. Know that yeah. this is probably going to happen. If you're, if you're a couple that has bonded over food and you're both kind of large and you don't have an active lifestyle, talk about it. Um, bring up your fears. Most importantly, bring up your fears. Um, you guys are married. Or living together or whatever it is in your relationship you know you just need to talk the first thing you need to do is be aware that this kind of thing can happen and does people do get divorced for this mm -hmm. talk about it understand that's going to happen and come up with a plan for dealing with it yep so we uh so basically what ended up happening is that we after i i posted that and 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 he read it and um, got really mad at me um, for, three days. for yeah, like three days. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was processing. <laughs> That's what he calls it. Um, basically, he didn't talk to me for three days. Yeah. And um, and finally, I was like, dude, you know, you can either be angry about this, um, or I'm pretty direct. I don't, I don't really take I don't really <laughs> take any <laughs> take any crap. Um, I was like, dude, you can either ignore this pretend like it doesn't happen and the inevitable will happen or we can talk about it and deal with it and move forward and that's what I would like to do and I you know I told him I said if 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 I had already checked out if I was so done I wouldn't be trying to fix it and I think hope that maybe that resonated with you and that made you realize probably that probably wasn't listening. Probably. <laughs> uh, well, that was my intention was to like <laughs> punch him in the face. Um, but you know, really that was the truth. Like I, I wanted to deal with this. I wanted to make things better. And if I didn't love him and didn't want to be with him, I would have just allowed things to continue to go. They were the way they were going. And, um, you know, a year from now, who knows? Who knows what could have happened? Who knows? I could have like totally married a hot dude by now. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Funny. Funny. You're cute. You only say that because you're on camera. So, so anyway, <laughs> uh, so we had this little argument, and um, it really was like an argument. Like, like you were angry, and at that point, I was finally like, I was angry. I was done. I was like. It's like, I'm, I'm just, like, let's just get this out there and talk about it and deal with it. And, uh, and Brett hates, hates, hates those words. We need to talk. First of all, Brett is an introvert. Brett does not like conflict. Brett likes to have conversations in his head where people don't fight back. <laughs> where they follow your, di right. your script. That's yeah. Right. Um, I'm yeah. doing it right now. I'm, I'm this show is rocking in my head right now. <laughs> Uh, bring that out. <laughs> let us rock it. No. Um, so, 
so we fought and then uh and then I said we need to we need to figure this out and so we sat out on our back deck one night and um in the dark where Brett uh is that's like the only way I can get him to talk is like get him in a dark room or out in the dark no eye contact dark of night um yeah no eye contact we can't face each other can't um, see my face yep yeah. and uh and and I said I said dude I didn't, I didn't really say dude but I you probably did I might have said dude because I love the word dude um but basically it was like dude we need to figure this out and I said I said you know I, I don't know what I can do to help you, but I love you and I'm willing to do whatever it is that you need. Um, you know, how, how, how can we get through this? And, and then he sat there in silence for like 10 minutes and felt like an eternity. And finally, he said, um, he said, well, how about we do a podcast? <laughs> Right? I mean, that's basically that's what happened. What I said. Yeah. How about we do a podcast? That was Brett. Well, let, let me tell you the conversation in my head at the time. <laughs> I, oh, I've never heard the conversation in <laughs> okay, your head. Okay, I'm not going to give you the conversation. I'm going to give you the highlights. All right. So, one of the things that um, left me behind is that I have a, a situation that's probably a little bit more unique than other people that have had gastro bypass, in that my significant other decided to become famous. You decided to become famous. Okay. It didn't say it happened. I said you decided to become famous. <laughs> so she spends a lot of her time dealing with the group. She spends a lot of time on Facebook and, uh, interacting with everybody on there, uh, the hundreds of followers on there, writing blogs, uh, doing videos. So she has, so she ended up with uh, the exercise, the activities, the weight loss. Uh, and the entire other life outside uh, being the imperfect life stuff. And, I, you know, I'd helped... Don't forget. The beautiful the hair. hair. <laughs> other people's hair. Other people's hair. And so she had this entire uh, existence outside of me. And I can't go do the races right now. Um, bad knees are part of it sprained my knee when I tried mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. Um, the size of me makes a difference. I can't go do zip lining. I can't do that, you know, stuff that has weight restrictions. So there's things that I can't do with her. I can go be with her while she does them, but that's not the same thing. So I wish she would, though, because at least then I'd have some good pictures of this awesome stuff I'm doing. <laughs> so I can be more famous. <laughs> Where's my paparazzi? <laughs> right. That's, that's what I'm good for. So she had all of this stuff going on that I couldn't take, uh, take part in other than as a spectator. So I, needed, I wanted to find something that both of us could do together. And I like podcasts. This is my third podcast now. Uh, I like doing them. I like the technology behind it. I like talking into a microphone. It makes me feel very important. You sound very important. I do. I have a, a Facebook or radio. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> and so my idea uh, that I came up with is that I wanted to get involved with Imperfect Life stuff. Uh, started uh, doing some of the blog stuff and we decided to do this um, thinking that some of the stuff that we're going through is not unique but maybe other people aren't finding the help that they want or they think that maybe they're alone going through this stuff and we wanted to kind of see if we could shed some light on this very real issue that comes up from gastro bypass. So see what came of that one blog I wrote? <laughs> Not only has it saved our marriage, but you get to reap the benefits. It might save yours as well. <laughs> Oh look, the camera jumped. Oh look, the camera turned off all by itself, so had to turn it back on. Um, okay, so you can find us at uh, www.imperfectlife.net, facebook.com slash imperfect for life. Uh, I'm on Twitter at imperfect life, the number two. So thank you for watching. I hope that you found this um, educational and entertaining. Fascinating. Fascinating, absolutely fascinating.